happening, mi gente? Luis the man here. Guys, we're in Brooklyn, New York, baby. One of my favorite cities here in all of New York. And guys, we're here to do a repair. Guys, we're going to replace your 80 gallon HTP storage tank. So we got to make it happen because we have a storm coming in. It's coming actually tomorrow and she needs some hot water. Hey, who wants to be without hot water, especially during the storm? So that's what we're here doing today. So guys, stay tuned because I'm going to show you what it is to change a storage tank. So guys, I'm going to show, show you from the beginning to end. And also our bonus is we're going to show you how to do the border cleaning on this particular board. It's a peerless boiler and then we're going to change a nipple. So guys, stay tuned because it'll be a great journey today and I can't wait to show you guys. Weepa! guys first thing is first we have to disassemble the tank right so you notice that it's connected with the electrical and it's also connected with the plumbing which is the piping so before we get to that we have to make sure that the shutoff valve the water feed going into the tank is closed then we then we also have to make sure that the shuttle valve going to the building or to the house is also closed so now we're isolating the system meaning we're isolating the tank and that's all we're doing is working on the tank so the next step after the next step after that is guess what you have to drain and remove the water from the tank so that's right guys you gotta get a long hose go to the nearest drain and make sure you connect the hose well you don't want to make a mess of water but most importantly guys we have to pump and drain out the water and remove the water physically from the tank because we need to do the work and we have to remo remove the tank because when you remove a tank that's full of water you can imagine how heavy the tank is All right, guys so now that we finished draining out the tank the next step is we have to cut and make sure that the connections are cut nice and smooth if you're gonna cut a copper make sure you have a tubing cutter or if not use a pipe wrench if you're gonna disconnect a union so right now we as you, as you guys can see it's all copper so we're gonna use the tubing cutter to make sure that it's cut nice and clean so we're gonna cut the pipes and make sure you know where you're cleaning and where you're cutting at because you don't want to make a mistakes think twice maybe measure twice cut once so guys, we're disconnecting the piping and then we're gonna disconnect the electrical. Once the piping has been disconnected and all the electrical has been removed, now the pipe is all disconnected. Now the tank is completely disconnected off the electrical and on the plumbing side. Now it's safe to say that we can remove the tank. Once we remove the tank, install the new tank. In this case, it's a, it's a beautiful thing that it's the exact replacement because if it was a different type of tank or a different manufacturer, the piping would be slightly different. But because it is the same manufacturer, it is the same model, Good thing is, we, the connection should line right up. But otherwise, if it, they, they don't line up, you have to make sure you take the proper measurements to reconnect the actual storage tank.
All right, guys, now that we finished wrapping up installing the storage tank for this beautiful customer, now the next thing is we have to clean out the boiler. So we saw this boiler actually a few years ago, believe it or not, and it's been working. It's been working great, but now we got to get her cleaning, get her maintenance because she hasn't done her maintenance. So guys, right now I'm going to show you what it is to clean out an oil steam boiler from Peerless. So let's make it happen right now. Let's go. Weba. It's officially a wrap. That's right, guys. We finished installing that storage tank, which was a phenomenal job. Job well done for the guys. Also, we finished doing the nipple that had to get repaired. And guys, do your maintenance because it was all corroded, and that's part of the maintenance. And most importantly, guys, we cleaned the board and we did a tune-up on the burner. And for me, it's fired the whole baby, and it's officially a wrap. Let me show you guys. Woo! -hoo. That's right, baby. Who don't love fire? Well. The one who fire is the man right here, Louis the Boiler Man. Guys, you know what I'm talking about? It doesn't have to be boilers. It doesn't have to be um, air fish. It can be anything. Do your maintenance. When the doctor tells you you got to go once a year, go once a year. I'm the doctor for boilers. You need to see me once a year. So, guys, with that being said, listen, without further ado, smash that bell button, hit the like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. With that being said, wipe Woo!